this session, in, uh, participants of this uh, conference. Good evening. I am Dr. Susila, working as senior scientist in Medicine and Dynamic Plants Association, uh, Hyderabad. So I am going to present my work uh, on effect of different plant densities on leaf and gel yield of uh, aloe barbadensis. Aloe is one among the few medicinal plants by virtue of its uh, extensive medicinal, nutraceutical, cosmetic uses enjoy a major chunk of the market across the world. There are over 250 species of aloe grown around the world and aloe can be grown in warm tropical areas and cannot survive freezing temperatures. Aloe can be found in Mexico, the Pacific Rim countries, India, South America, Central America, the Caribbean, Australia and Africa. World trade of aloe is worth about 80 million US dollars and this is likely to increase by 35 to 40 percent in the next five years. USA dominates the market with 65 percent share while India and China have a share of 10 percent each. It is an important drug of the Indian systems of medicine, particularly in Ayurveda and Yunani. In Sanskrit, it is called Kumari because it imparts youthfulness and enhances the femininity. The gel contains glucosides, that is barbaloin, isobarbaloin, and beta barbaloin. The gel also contains glucose, galactose, galactovirulinic acid, mannose, and allosin. Pharmacologically, it is an immunobooster and detoxifies the system. It is recommended in a adjuvant therapy with antibiotics, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and chemotherapy to eliminate drug-induced gastritis and other adverse effects. Usefulness in various diseases such as uh, uh, type 2 diabetes, arthritis, eye diseases, spleen enlargement, liver complaints, bronchitis, asthma and also in jaundice. It also relieves constipation, helps in, in inflammatory bowel disease, non-ulcer dyspepsia, <laughs> gastric and duodenal ulcers. The gel is an effective appetizer, digestant, liver stimulant and it is very useful as a blood purifier, hence it is very valuable in skin diseases. Aloe is known as the main excitative component of uh, aloe preparations and it has uh, generally been used as a key component for the quality control of pharmaceuticals containing aloe. Beginning in the 1950s, uh, Aloe vera gel has gained respect as a commodity used as a base for nutritional drinks, as a moisturizer and a healing agent in cosmetics and in OTC drugs. The cultivation of aloe has acquired great commercial importance for medicinal products and cosmetics processing but information is very scarce about the agronomic management of this crop. The experiment was uh, conducted during the year 2010-11 at our research station, that is Medicinal and Aromatic Plants Research Station, Hyderabad. And I have taken 12 treatments, uh, a number of treatment replications were three, and it was conducted in factorial randomized block design. I have taken two factors, one is uh, two uh, uh, different varieties of uh, aloe vera, one is uh, aloe flowering, orange flowering type, another one is yellow flowering type. And uh, another factor is spacing. I have taken six spacings. Uh, one is uh, 45 into 45 centimeters, 16 to 45 centimeters, 16 to 60 centimeters, 75 into 30 centimeters, 75 into 60 centimeters, and 75 into 75. These are the different spacings uh, we have, I have adapted for uh, uh, planting of aloe. And this uh, graph shows the uh, actually, uh, uniform cultural operations were followed for all the uh, treatments. It was planted during the month of uh, uh, July. Uh, usually, aloe takes for first harvesting about 10 months. Later, for every 3 months, we usually would take another harvest. I had taken the first harvest at the age of 10 months. Uh, now, I am giving the harvest data. I have recorded the data on leaf length, leaf width, number of leaves per plant, weight of the each leaf and the gel weight of the each leaf and the yield per plant and yield per hectare. This, is, this slide shows the average length of the aloe vera leaf at a different harvest. Uh, this uh, slide, uh, uh, the, uh, during the first harvest, the average length of the leaf is around uh, 40 centimeters. 
whereas the third harvester, the leaf length goes to 52 centimeters. And uh, there is no significant, uh, significant difference in between the two varieties with reference to the uh, leaf length. This is the uh, slide shows the effect of spacing on leaf length uh, in a row, a different harvest. Here also there is uh, no significant difference in between the spacings, uh, different spacings with reference to the aloe vera leaf length. Uh, the average leaf length recorded during the first harvest, the range is in between 39.59 to 42.23 centimeters. During second harvest, it is, the leaf length is 45.39 to 48.9 centimeters. During third harvest, the average leaf length is 49.52 to 53.95 centimeters. This slide shows the average width of the aloe vera leaf at different harvests. Uh, here also the leaf width, there is no significant difference in between the two varieties with reference to the say, leaf width. Uh, however, the leaf width during first harvest is very low, is a, around 6.64 uh, 6 to 6.8 centimeters. Whereas in third harvest, uh, the leaf size, uh, because of increase in leaf size, uh, the leaf width goes to 8.38 to 8.45 centimeters. This slide shows the effect of spacing on leaf width in, in a low. Here also there is no significant difference in between different, different spacings with reference to leaf width. The range of the leaf width during first harvest is 6.43 to 6.93 centimeters. In second harvest, uh, the range is in between 7 to 7.667. In the third harvest, it is 8.28 to 8.5 centimeters. <laughs> this slide shows the number of leaves uh, harvested per plant uh, in allow a different harvest. Uh, there is a significant difference uh, in between the two varieties uh, with reference to number of leaves harvested per plant. During husk uh, harvesting, uh, yellow flowering type produces more number of the leaves. Uh, even it continues uh, in the second harvest and third harvest also. In the third harvesting, the yellow flowering type produced 8.94 leaves per plant, whereas uh, orange flowering type produced uh, less number of the leaves. This is the effect of spacing on number of leaves harvested per plant. Here, there is no significant difference in between the space, different spacings with reference to number of leaves per plant harvested. However, the average number, the range is in between 4.72 to 5.76 in the first harvesting. In the second harvesting, it is 5.5 to 6.26. In the third harvesting, it is 7.4 to 8.43. Here the average uh, uh, leaf weight uh, uh, in aloe at a different harvest. During, uh, there is a significant difference in leaf weight uh, uh, in orange flowering type of produced uh, during first harvesting and the uh, second uh, harvesting it has produced uh, uh, more uh, weight of the leaves. Uh, whereas in the third harvesting yellow flowering uh, type dominated the growth uh, and it has produced uh, more weight of the leaves. Uh, during first harvesting, the leaf, average leaf height recorded is 268 grams in orange flowering type. Uh, in the second harvesting also, this orange flowering type produced uh, uh, higher leaf height, it is 412 centimeter, uh, grams of weight. Whereas in third harvesting, yellow flowering type produced uh, uh, higher leaf height when compared to the orange flowering type. <coughs> this is uh, effect of spacing and average leaf height uh, in aloe. But during the first harvesting, there is no significant difference in average weight of the leaf. Uh, whereas in uh, second harvesting onwards, there is a significant, a significant difference uh, in between the different spacings. Maximum leaf weight uh, uh, was recorded in S6. The average leaf weight is uh, higher in S6 uh, spacing. That it is uh, 75 into 75 centimeters planted plants. Uh, at that plant uh, spacing, the plants produce uh, uh, more higher leaf weight when compared to the uh, S1, where uh, the spacing is 45 into the much closer spacing. Similarly, in third harvesting also, uh, the S6 in uh, S6 spacing, the uh, average leaf weight is higher. It is around 557.5 uh, uh, grams. This slide shows the average gel weight. We have collected the gel weight from each leaf uh, uh, on an average uh, from uh, five plants. Uh, during first harvesting, the average gel weight is uh, uh, higher in orange flowering type. It is 168.60 grams. Even during second harvesting also, orange flowering type gave higher uh, gel weight. 
Whereas in third harvesting, the gel weight is higher in a yellow flowering type. This is mainly because the leaf weight is uh, higher in the third harvesting in a uh, yellow flowering type. That's why automatically it has given higher uh, gel weight in the third harvesting. <laughs> this is the effect of spacing on average gel weight uh, per leaf uh, at uh, different harvests. During first harvest and the second harvest, there is no significant difference uh, in average gel weight uh, in between the spacings. But uh, during third harvest, uh, S6 plants planted in S6 uh, uh, produced higher gel weight when compared to the plants planted in, at closer spacing in S1 or whatever it is in S2. In the S6, the average gel weight per plant per leaf was 338.5 uh, uh, grams, whereas in uh, S1 it is uh, 210 grams. Per leaf. This is the yield per plant uh, in yellow varieties at different harvests. Uh, during first harvesting, the average uh, yield per plant is higher in a uh, uh, yellow flowering type, it is uh, 658 uh, grams per plant, whereas in second harvest also, the yellow flowering plant produced higher leaf, uh, uh, higher leaf yield per plant, it is 1.28 kg. In third harvesting also, the trend continued and the yield per plant in third harvesting in yellow flowering type is 3.6 kg. This is effect of spacing or leaf yield per plant in a low. The maximum yield per plant was recorded in S6 because of more leaf weight in this treatment, the average yield per plant is also higher. Uh, the same trend uh, was continued in the uh, second harvesting also. In third harvesting also, also the average yield per plant was highest in uh, uh, S6. This is uh, yield per hectare in different harvests and also I have calculated cumulatively yield in the three harvests. Uh, during first harvesting, the uh, yield per hectare is uh, uh, higher in uh, yellow flowering type. It is 12.7 tons per hectare. In the second harvest, it is 15.76 in this uh, yellow flowering type. The trend is also continued in the third harvest. In third harvesting, yellow flowering type produced uh, 55 tons per hectare. And the cumulative is, uh, yield is also highest in uh, yellow flowering type. It is 96.81 tons per hectare in this variety. This is uh, effect of spacing uh, on leaf yield at different harvests and cumulative leaf yield. Uh, this uh, uh, highest uh, uh, yield was recorded in the third harvest. It is uh, uh, 71.64 tons per hectare in S1. The maximum yield in this uh, treatment is because of one number of plants uh, in this treatment. Even though uh, the average leaf weight is highest in S6, uh, because the per unit area, the number of plants in per unit area is less. Uh, that's why it has recorded uh, less yield. Whereas uh, uh, number of plants per unit area are higher in this S1 treatment, that's why it has recorded higher yield. Uh, in the first harvest, uh, the average yield recorded in this S1 is 19.32 tons, whereas in the second harvest it is 21.25 tons. In the third harvest it is uh, 71.64 tons per hectare. And the cumulative yield is also highest in this treatment, it is uh, 111 tons uh, per hectare. This is interaction effect of spacing and aloe varieties on leaf yield by, uh, during third harvest. Uh, during third harvest, uh, the uh, yellow flowering type, uh, when planted at the 45 to 45 centimeters, produced the highest yield. It is uh, 89.26 tons per hectare. This is interaction effect of spacing and uh, aloe varieties on uh, cumulative leaf yield per hectare. Here also, uh, planting of aloe, yellow flowering type, uh, at a spacing of uh, uh, 45 into 45 centimeters produced uh, maximum yield. It is 137.47 tons per hectare. Coming to the conclusions, among the two varieties of aloe studied, uh, number of leaves per plant were highest in yellow flowering type. Uh, no significant influence of spacing was observed on number of leaves per plant. Average leaf weight was highest in, uh, in orange flowering type during first and second harvesting, while in third harvesting, yellow flowering type recorded maximum leaf weight. During first harvesting, influence of spacing on leaf weight has not observed. While in second and third harvesting, highest leaf weight was observed when aloe was planted at 75 into 75 cm spacing. The average gel weight per leaf was highest in orange flowering type during first and second harvesting. 
and during third harvesting yellow flowering type produced higher gel content per leaf. No significant influence of spacing and gel weight per leaf was observed during first and second harvesting, while during third harvesting highest gel weight was produced in plants planted at 75 into 75 cm spacing. Yield per plant during first and second and third harvest were highest in yellow flowering type. Yellow flowering type produced highest yield in all the harvests when it was planted at 75 into 75 cm spacing. Among the two varieties of aloe, uh, yellow flowering type produced highest yield per hectare in uh, all the harvests. Even the cumulative yield per hectare was also highest in this variety. And among the different spacing studied, aloe when planted at a spacing of 45 to 45 centimeters uh, produced the highest yield. It is about uh, 111 tons per hectare. Regarding interaction, planting of yellow flowering type at a spacing of 45 into 45 centimeters produced highest yield of 137.47 tons per hectare. Thank you, sir.